You sued me. Your lawyer has finished putting their case on. And he stands up and he says, Your Honor, the plaintiff... It's like taking a nap. Hey, what's up, guys? We're doing something totally different today. I'm obviously out of the studio. I'm out of the office. In fact, I am at this university. Why am I here? Because I want to find out what do college students know about the law? As a lawyer, I tend to assume that everyone knows what I know, but that can't possibly be correct. So today we're going to interview some students and we're going to find out what do they know. I'm here with Connor, Josh, Kendall, I'm Camila. Hey, nice to meet you. My name is Aiden. Jasmine. Zachary, fantastic to meet you. I'm going to ask you some questions about the legal system, what you know. Okay. But do you think that you know the average amount as a regular person about the legal system, below average or above average? I'd say about average. The same, maybe a little bit more. A little bit above average? Probably below average. I don't really focus on that. Well, I am a pre-law major, so I would say yes. Holy cow! Honestly, probably less. If you're charged with a crime in America, okay. are you innocent until proven guilty or guilty until proven innocent? Innocent until proven guilty. I want to say I'm innocent until proven guilty. Innocent until proven guilty. Innocent until proven guilty. Nailed it. That's right. If you and I are in a car wreck, and let's say you accidentally run a stop sign and you hit my car, what's the longest that you can go to jail if it's an accident? I would say like two years. I'd say a week or two. Uh, <laughs> 10 years, 15? Nine months to a year. You can't go to jail for a regular accident. What? I know! I know! Oh, 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 no, no, no. How many Supreme Court justices are there? Aren't there eight? I want to say three to eight. 25? 12. It's a number that, that rhymes with wine, and it's a little higher than eight. Nine. Yes, you're good with the rhymes, though. That's fantastic. Do you know who the Chief Justice of the U.S. Supreme Court is? Uh, no, I do not. No. I don't. Like their name? Yeah, would it help you if I told you it was an old white guy? <laughs> no. Okay, what if I told you his name was John? John Henry? John Henry. <laughs> John Henry. I mean, you're trying. I, guess. I am. How about John Roberts? John Roberts. Have you ever heard of him? No. Not me neither. Okay. Can you name any justice on the Supreme Court? I wouldn't be able to tell you not one, probably. Is Dikembe Mutombo on the Supreme Court? I don't think so. We'll never find out. He was a basketball player. Okay, okay. I was right. <laughs> <laughs> okay, the Supreme Court is the highest court in the land, right? Tell me approximately how many cases they hear from the entire United States in a year. Between 10 and 20, between 30 and 100, around 130, between 300 and 500, or over 2,500. I would say the second one you said. Between 30 and 100. I would say around there. If so you like 300 to 500? No, go down some more, I think. You like about 130? Yeah. 10 to 30? I'm going to just say, because it's a big time case, I'll say more than 2,500 because you need the big dogs to really give you the clarification. I like your reasoning. It's wrong. Oh, oh it's wrong. And it's not even close. It's like five. It's 130. OK. You have heard someone in a movie or a TV show in a courtroom scene jump up and say, objection, hearsay, right? Yes. What does that mean? What is hearsay? You're trying to get someone to believe something that is not true. Trying to like, I don't, I don't know. My answer might be a little off. Word of mouth. So basically they didn't get that from a direct source. You are the first person to answer yeah. this question correctly today. Uh, Pete, he redeemed himself. I'm really smart for real. Y'all just don't know it. All right. What are some of the rights listed in the first amendment? Freedom of speech, freedom of religion, press. Is it freedom to, I want to use the word rally. Yes, an assembly, to peaceably assemble, that's correct. Freedom to uh, peacefully protest. Freedom, freedom of the of press. Protest. Freedom of the press. Okay. Okay. What about full court press? See, that's basketball. That's basketball. I, I almost had you. Almost you. That's, had yeah, you. okay. I was gonna say, yo. <laughs> what is the name of the hammer looking thing that the judge hits his desk with? Jonathan? The gavel? The... Yeah, that thing, what is that called? You wanna help me? Board this... in the court? No. No, but there's... <laughs> She says it's a grovel, is that correct? Yes. I beg you, I beg you did not say that. I beg you, please, please don't say grovel. Please. Oh, no, it's not grovel. It's a gavel. You were so close. The gavel. A gavel. Oh, yes. Nailed it. <laughs> if you get convicted of a misdemeanor, what is the longest jail sentence you can serve? Two years. He says two years. I wouldn't want him on my jury. A week? A week. I would like that. Five years? Just under 12 months, so 
Holy cow, it's 364 days, it's a year. You nailed it. Next question. In a typical courtroom, there is a person called a bailiff. What is the bailiff's job? What does he or she do? I've okay. heard of it, but I don't. Okay. I feel like I should know this. I don't know what a bailiff is. Doesn't he issue like the sentence? What's your correct answer? The one who keeps the order. Oh my goodness. Okay, you haven't missed one yet. I mean, you kind of missed seven, but. I need like the security of the floor, like make sure it's Yes! He has a gun and handcuffs. He's like a policeman for the inside of the courtroom. What is the largest number of questions that a lawyer is allowed to ask a witness in a regular trial? Say eight to 10. I would want to say 12. 10 questions? 15. I believe unlimited as long as it's related to the trial in question. You did get that question correct. In some trials, a jury examines a toxicology report. What is a toxicology report? It's a report on probably their blood levels looking for, say, drugs, alcohol, or any chemical in their body. Ding, ding, ding! That is correct. Okay, that's great. A toxicology report would be like reports on like alcohol levels in their blood or if they were doing drugs or something. That is 100% correct. They examine the body and everything that has to do with like cause of death. Okay. Yeah, like looking at right chemicals in the blood, that sort of yeah. thing. I'm gonna go ahead and say you're you're right. Although, as as a physical therapist in training, I, I wanted better, but man, <laughs> we, you know, it, it's fine. We're giving it to you. Okay. I think that's determining if you had alcohol in your system at the time. You're doing fantastic. See any tox like poisons or like I guess any alcohol or maybe like substances within the blood. Ding, ding, ding. You're two in a row. In America, you have a right to remain. Silent. Right, but not in a YouTube video. You do not have that right, right? You have the right to remain silent. Yes, now how good would this interview be if you did that? Pretty good, I know ESL. <laughs> okay, you got me. You have a right to remain silent. Okay, but you just violated that right. I mean, you didn't have to say anything. I'm just messing with you. <laughs> you do have a right to remain silent. You're correct, okay. You have the right to remain silent. You have the right to remain. Oh. Okay, but you just violated your own rights. No, I didn't. Well, but you didn't remain silent. Because I have the right to if I want to. You waived your right. No, I didn't. Did I violate your rights? Do you want me to move on to the next question? You, it's okay to laugh. What is the average lawyer charge per hour in the United States this year? 225. That's so close. I would say around 250. Oh my word. You're so close. I'm gonna go ahead and say 150 an hour. 150 an hour is gonna get you a really, really bad lawyer. Okay. I'm gonna guess at $100. $100, you're gonna be the poorest lawyer in America. I was an hour by like 1200. $1,200 an hour will get you a really, really good lawyer. You can get an average one for $269 an hour. If you sue me in court, you're the plaintiff and I am what? Defendant. Defendant. Plaintiff versus, starts with a D. Defendant. 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 That's correct, plaintiff versus defendant. Nice work. So you sued me and your lawyer is uh, finished putting your case on. He has no more evidence. What does the lawyer say to the judge to tell the judge there's no more evidence? We're done with our case. They say the plaintiff blank. You know, it has to do with sleeping. Rest my case. The plaintiff rests. That's fantastic. I rest my case. Oh my word, it's five in a row, you're like a genius. Oh my goodness. You sued me, your lawyer has finished putting their case on, and he stands up and he says, your honor, the plaintiff, it's like taking a nap. They will rest. Rest? The plaintiff rests. Okay, yeah. Rest their case. The plaintiff rests. Dude, you're about to rest, okay? We have one more question before we rest. Are you ready? If the police are trying to coerce you into confessing to a crime, what are the parts of your body that they are allowed to hit and what parts of your body can they not hit? No, coercing them, no. They can't hit you. I feel like ideally they're not allowed to hit any part of your- Oh, oh my goodness, oh my goodness, oh my goodness. He's six for six. Dude, you're six for six. You've gotten six in a row correct. Why are you running? Why are you running? They're not allowed to touch you. Unless that is correct. They can't hit you. I'm gonna say nothing. None and all. That is correct. The cops cannot legally hit you. 
That is fantastic. Oh my word, guys, that was so much fun to film. I love meeting these college students, but you know what? It's not about me, it's about you, and what do you want? So, get down below in the comments and tell me your pro se opinion. Do you wanna see another video like this, Street Legal Episode 2? And do you think that the younger generation of Americans know enough about the law to make you feel good about our future? Hey, while you're down there, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, and I will be back soon. See you later.